assume x y z and w and p are matrices of order 2 by n 3 by k 2 by p n by 3 and p by k respectively then choose the correct answer it's given matrix x with order 2 by n and matrix y with order 3 by k and matrix z with an order 2 by p and matrix w with an order n by 3 and matrix p with an order p by k so let's consider 21st one question the restriction on n k and p so that p y plus w y is defined so matrix p into y plus w y is defined and we know that in multiplication of matrices the number of columns in first matrix let us take m by n and here the number of columns in first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix so in second matrix b it, it must have n by and some other number say p so that the product matrix a b will have an order m by p so the condition is the number of columns in first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in second matrix so by using such condition so let us take p is a matrix of order p by k and y is a matrix of order 3 by k since this p y plus w y is defined so multiplication p y must be defined so to define this k must be equal to 3 so from here we can conclude that k should be equal to 3 and again w y w is a matrix of order n by 3 and y is an order of matrix 3 by k so here clearly we can say that these two are equal and the matrix w y will have the order will have an order n by k and here the order is p y is an order p y matrix order is we can say p by k and this is w y of order n by k since the addition is possible and it is well defined so we can say addition is possible only when their orders are same so here we can conclude that this p must be equal to n and anyhow k is common so from here we can say p is equal to n and k is equal to 3 so we can, among the options we can go k is equal to 3 p is equal to n it's the first option so first option is the right answer now let's see 20 second let me write here again x is a matrix of order 2 by n y is a matrix of order 3 by k and z is a matrix of order 2 by p and w is a matrix of order n by 3 and p is a matrix of order p by k so in second case the order of matrix 7 x minus 5 z when n is equal to p so given here n is equal to p and matrix order we need to find 7 times x minus 5 times z so this subtraction is possible only when the matrix order of x order of matrix x must be equal to order of matrix z so here x matrix order is 2 by n and z matrix order is 2 by p to define this subtraction this n must be equal to p so the first condition we got n is equal to p here anyhow it is given 
and now the order we can say x order is 2 by p so we can go with 2 by n 7x minus 5z so option b we can go any of this 2 by p so we can say 7x minus 5z will have an order 2 by n or 2 by p both n and p are same so among the four options we can choose 2 by n so option b is the right answer okay thank you